All right, good morning, class. Uh, manufacturing, uh, one of the sections in the uh, metric calendar year. Uh, and uh, so we've done it last year. I remember in term four, we did it as our preparation for metric and uh, production cost statement. Uh, it's part of the process. You've got your direct labor and direct labor only involves those that are in the production process, actually not the factory manager, but those guys that actually make the product. Uh, and it's got your direct materials are the actual materials that go into making uh, that particular product. And when you add DM and DL, it gives you your prime cost. Uh, and then you add your factory overheads. When you add factory overheads plus DL and DM, you get your total cost of manufacturing. DL is direct labor, DM is direct materials. And when you add your opening work in progress, less your work, a closing work in progress, you will end up with total cost of production and total production cost. I'm not going to waste too much of time. I will actually do a question uh, and I've got the, the answer book ready. There's the exam paper here. And um, so uh, I've got the uh, question here from Snazzy Handbags, November 2015. Uh, and there's everything given to me. Uh, and now I've got to do the actual production cost. So I've got the formats here. And the format is laid out. There's everything right here, direct materials. So I'm going to start, not waste too much of time. Uh, direct materials. So let's have a look at what's going on there. Direct materials. Um, direct material costs 976. So my advice is always do this. Put it in brackets first because you're not sure uh, if there's going to be, uh, you know, an adjustment or something like that. So just put it in brackets and let's see if there's an adjustment. Uh, an internal audit revealed the following. Damaged raw material valued 17,000 had been returned to the supplier. If something is returned, you subtract it from raw materials. Minus 17 and close the bracket. I don't see any other. So it's basically equal to 976 minus 17. Um, because I'm doing it on, 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 on Excel, it's that method. Then I've got direct labor. Uh, 755,000. So go back, uh, brackets 755, and I want to see if there's any adjustments. Uh, salary of the factory foreman, no, that is factory overheads. This here goes into um, uh, uh, factory overheads, it's an indirect labor because they're not directly involved with the manufacturing process. Like if you look here. Uh, factory overheads. I'll take you to factory. And if I try to zoom this a bit for you, um, indirect labor, factory uh, foreman or manager goes in indirect. It's part of factory overheads. All right. So there is no other direct labor. So I'll take the same amount, 755,000, close the bracket. And um, so 755,000 and I've got my prime cost. So I add these two up. I add these two up and when I add them up, I can actually use some uh, and I'll sum it up and one five. So I'm gonna just, um, right, and uh, do the same here. And uh, all right, I'm moving. So factory overheads. Now guys, in this particular question, they tell you prepare the production cost statement. They didn't say do the factory overheads note. So you're going to have to do your calculations in brackets. So whatever they've given us, we must put it in brackets and move forward. Factory overheads cost 442.080. And then we will adjust 442.080. Let's have a look at what pertains to. I've done the first one. Factory overheads overhead cost included a full amount of 62 for rent expense now anything that's factory related that's not direct material or direct labor will go into factory overheads that includes rent expense only two-third of this expense must be allocated so what happens here guys they put the full amount of 62 so we need to take the 62 out and then take add back to that two-thirds of 62,400 because it said two thirds is for factory. So let's do that. I will first take the 62,400 out of that minus 62,400. Right, because we're taking it out. And then I'm going to add back. So you can just watch my calculation. I'm going to calculate 
uh, equals to 62,400 times uh, 2 over 3, 2 divided by 3. And I get 41,600. I'm just showing you the calculation, right? 41. Then I'm going to add 41,600. All right. Um, is there anything further? We're going to have a look. The salary of a factory foreman. Immediately, salary of a factory foreman is a factory overhead. It's because it's indirect labor, right? Um, and the details of his salary is as follows. Now, I want to teach you this. When you're adding salary, whether it's going to be direct labor or indirect labor, and they say that they omitted this, they didn't record it, like the salary of a factory foreman on leave was not recorded. The details of his salary are as follows. Deduction for SARS, deduction for pension and UIF, and net salary, and then the employer contributes to the pension fund and UIF 1920. The business contributes on a rand for rand basis. What it means is, if the employer contributes 1920, then the deduction will also be 1920. Now, let me teach you this here. What, listen carefully. When they say they omitted a person, add the net salary, add the contributions, and add the deductions, right? So in this particular instance here, uh, we're going to get, uh, we go to salaries and wages. We're going to have a look if there's factory overhead. We already got that. So you going to go here, add the, uh, the firstly, the net salary, 8320, add the contribution, 191920. I'm going to extend this because I can see that, um, you know, it's, it needs to be extended. Um, and... So, and then you add the deductions, which these two, 2560, and this is also 1920 plus 1960. So, I'm going to extend this further. Yeah. Uh, so, you can see what's going on. So, and I'm going to so I've done, I think. And then is there any other factory? I see nothing else. Nothing else. The next page is the next, another question. And that's it for factory overheads. We're done. So I close the bracket. And then to calculate all of that, I will say equals to 442080 minus 62400 plus 41600 plus 8320 plus 1920 plus 2560 plus 1960 it was 1920 actually um, and that's it so I need to change this to 1920 and I've got my factory overheads now I want to just guide you on something factory uh, overheads I'm gonna do a note on that for you just to teach you on fair because there's there can be more trans uh, adjustments relating to factory overheads uh, it's not always easy and simple there can be other ones so this one is quite straightforward because you only ask to do the production cost statement right now once you've got factory overheads total manufacturing costs you add these two up you add these two so it's equal to that plus that and I've got it one nine nine seven now, work in progress at the beginning of the year, we're going to check work in progress, 1st October, 74,000. It's given to us, and you put it in there, 74,000. All right, I'm just going to make sure there. Brilliant. Now, this is the total of these two, so you add them up. There we go. Work in progress at the end of the year. Hmm, they didn't give it to us. So there's a problem. Now I want to teach you this. Uh, it must always be less, meaning minus, right? Minus less work in process at the end of the year. Now this is always in brackets. It's always in brackets. So it's going to be minus something, but they didn't give it to us. But I saw something there. They gave us a total cost of production. So they gave us the end balance, this one here. It is 2187500. 2187500. 
and they will always give it to you. Uh, if they don't give you the working process at the end of the year, they must give you the total cost. So how do I get this? It's the total cost of production minus that total there will give us the working process at the end of the year. So it will be equal to that minus this one. There we go. 116500. Now, I like to put it in brackets because it's less. Um, so I, I don't know if I can. I will try to put it in brackets. Um, let's see if I can. Doesn't really allow me, uh, but this should be in, in brackets, right? So since we got that there, I can also just put it in brackets if I want. It was um, 116, let me just, 116500. So brackets, 116500. Because obviously your work doesn't uh, involve um, Excel, so you won't really, it, it can be seen. So brackets, 116500. Right, and then I will uh, more like centralize it uh, or take it there. That uh, doesn't really matter. That's it. That's your total cost of production. Production cost statement done. I hope you understand. Uh, straightforward. I will do a note on factory overheads and direct material costs. God bless you. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you.